it rained a lot last night, as promised, but we did stay dry and warm. It's, um, it's after eight now. The boys are both still asleep. I'm trying to get them up, trying to wake them up, trying to get them going. Well, we've had a definite fail here at the bottom of our tent. As you can see, it's a pool of water and our shoes are absolutely soaked. We brought our shoes in to keep them dry. That didn't work out. Um, boys are just screaming because we have to get going here and they don't want to. Uh, because of our tent fail, which just was an error in how we staked it out, me and Sonic's shoes are soaking wet, like puddles of water inside the shoes. Putting on cold, wet shoes is extremely unpleasant. Now, Buttercup, his shoes were not at the bottom, so they stayed dry. And he's just like kind of sitting there saying things like, Ooh, so dry. It's very snotty. Torture. This has been a rough morning. I lost my temper with the kids so many times they lost their temper with each other they did their little thing where they act like they don't know how to do something because they don't want to do something and we're all cold and sonic and i have soaking wet feet and i'm frustrated because the tent got water in it and i don't know how to set it up the best way to prevent that from happening again and it's tricky to set up it's not freestanding and oh that's another one of those centipedes here let's have a look huh? yeah. oh, there it is. It's so well it's a it's a millipede and and uh, i can't figure out what the species is but it's, it's a, probably a red um backed it's a flat backed millipede so anyway the morning was frustrating I feel like guilty, like pa uh, failure parenting by losing my temper with the kids. Here we go, we're starting the day. Whether it's a good start or not, here it is. This is a perfect little pool for sitting in on a hot day. It's just a very beautiful little area. We don't have anything like this in Southern California. So this is an American giant millipede. Look at that fellow. He really is very big my hand for comparison. Look at that guy. He's huge. We I'll over here. I'll be over here. A lungless salamander. Oh no. And I don't know Oh no, species, Buttercup. Give it to me. Give it to me. I know it's a lungless salamander. They're cute. Yeah. Want to show the camera? Kind of hard to see. There he is. Look at that guy. Yeah. Huh, uh, oh, oh. oh, he jumped! Oh, uh, no. Let's. Uh. Why don't we let him go now? Oh, mm -hmm. I have him. Okay. I love it. I know, isn't he cute? I want to keep it. No. I Why have not? him, Mama. You have him? The first seven miles went pretty easily today, even though it was cold and wet. It was actually a nice change from the very warm slash hot weather we've been having, and we were able to really smash out the first seven miles pretty quickly. We stopped at the shelter back there and we sat down, we had snack. Um, we stayed there about half an hour and then we decided to move on. And we're moving pretty quickly here. The boys told me they want to do these six miles without a break, which is fine. They get to kind of plan our pacing and plan our break schedule. So it's whatever they want. And if they're fine with that, I am. We have pretty much finished homeschool for the day. We already did math, we did reading, we did poetry, so we may just have them do a little bit of writing when we get in tonight. And we're just walking along and these are very pretty miles. We have four more miles to go. Two more hours and what 
time is it? I'm not sure. We're on our last three miles downhill, and I'm pretty proud of us. We had a rough morning, and we followed it up by a pretty, pretty good day. Buttercup just spotted the town. So all we have to do is descend these last few miles and, and then we're there. I don't know why it always looks so much further on camera than it looks in person. Oh, it's in because it's on six. How, how far it is it's farther? If it's going farther like over there, you need to zoom in, zoom it in so you can see better. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. let's try it. How's can you that? See it better? Yeah. Sometimes that happens when you There it is. Oh, we're headed down there. There's no internet. There's the Nolichucky River, I think it's... I'm not sure how it's pronounced. There's... Down here towards town, the mountain laurels are blooming. So pretty. Amazing. Not a happy kid. We have to pick up some packages here, but nobody's here to help us. This is a hiker box here. We've got a lot of shoes and just random stuff. Some clothes. Yeah, there's not a lot we need here, but there's a lot of stuff. This is the front of Uncle Johnny's. Oh, what and is this? We've been unsuccessful in finding a shuttle from Uncle Johnny's to town. So we're just walking along the road right now. We're gonna be sticking out our thumbs, trying to hitchhike, and seeing if we can get into town. We did get to pick up our packages from Uncle Johnny, so that's nice. Um, we've got Sonic in his new shoes and his new fleece, and I've got my new fleece and my new pillow, so when we get to the hotel, we'll kind of show off our new stuff. So we're eating here at McDonald's. We're having some, like, different... <sighs> This is my new fleece, and my old one just had a bunch of holes in it. And Sonic got his new fleece as well, so that looks really good. And then this is my new pillow. It does have like this tiny little down layer on top. I, I don't know if it's just a gimmick or if it actually does anything, but this is going to be used in conjunction with my other pillow. Um, to allow my knees to like better align so my hips don't hurt so much at night. And then also have da -da -da, look at those fancy new shoes for Sonic. Mine are looking pretty shabby. I'm gonna replace them in Damascus. And then Buttercup will also get a new pair in Damascus. I think the boys are really burning through their shoes. Good night. Good night. Like, comment, and subscribe. Six, six.